How's it going guys? My name is Jason with Hunter's Friend and we're going to take a quick look at the Axion Archery Stabilizer. Now this is actually a pretty cool stabilizer. This is actually one of my personal ones. That's why I've used it. I've, I've put it back in the package when I was done. Um, so I actually was going through my stuff and I found this and I figured I'd make a quick video about it. I've had some hands on with it and I can definitely speak for it. Now with stabilizers, uh, I say it often, a lot of the times it, it comes down to personal preference. Well, honestly, almost all the time it comes down to personal preference because as long as you got one, uh, the competition between manufacturers these days for parts, it's just, it's so, it's so intense that if a manufacturer makes poor quality products, they're not going to exist very long. So these days it's honestly hard to find parts like stabilizers that aren't going to work pretty okay. Um, but Outside of that is finding something that you think looks good, cosmetically appealing, suits your bow, your color scheme, whatever it may be. That's a, that's a big part of the battle. So a stabilizer like this will functionally work great. It'll do its job excellent as a stabilizer as far as, you know, helping with any kind of vibration or noise or anything like that. It, it will do great. Um, but outside of that, I was actually drawn to it just because it looks nice. Um, it's actually really well designed. If you take a close look, you can kind of see how the, the metals on the outside and the rubber dampening um, pieces are actually inside, which I just think is really neat. Um, it does a good job. I shot with it for a long time. I bounce from part to part, but I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it. So if you're in the market for a, a new stabilizer or just want to try something different, check it out and see if it's right for you.